Hey traders, this is William and I have a special recap here. You know back over a year ago when Variable Traders first started to allow member submission of trades, I was one of the very first to submit trades. And what I learned through that was, boy, I needed to understand my trades so much better if I was going to share exactly what I did. I couldn't just gamble and say, hey, look at this trade. That wasn't the point. The point was to share your trading idea with others. So again, it forced me to really go deep into why I was doing the trades. So I highly encourage any, any person that's thinking about doing that or wants some sort of avenue to try to improve their trading it really forces you to dig deep into understanding. And for me, it later evolved into recording myself live. And then it evolved into recording myself live and talking to myself through the trade so I could hear, I could hear what I was thinking. Because sometimes I would just do the stupidest things when I would look back at my charts and be like, why in the world would I do that? And then when I talked to myself and I listened to it back, I was like, you're a psychopath. When you're in the market, you're psychotic. You have no idea what's going on. You're letting your emotions control you. And when I saw that, it didn't solve it. And I still have issues, but it sure as heck helped me to make a realization that would improve my trading slowly and continues to do it. So today, I went back to that. I did that for fun and I had a really great trade. I'm very proud of this trade um, because as I was talking through everything, I was holding to my rules. I was waiting for everything to happen. I was having patience. I was being disciplined. Everything I want to do in every trade, talking to myself through it, helped me to achieve it, all right? So check this video out. I, I think it's a really interesting experience here for myself to get into my own head as I'm in the trade, so thanks. Okay, I just got filled SQ and you can see my fill here was 6018. My stop was 59.99, so I'll just do 20 cents. And so I want to get a 3 to 1 at least. Okay, it's trying to break through view app. I got filled at what did I get filled at 6018, so I'm it's it's trying to make a move up and my stop is right under the even dollar right here. So this is where I want to have patience. Daily gap up, independent of the SPY, trying to go through view up, holding the even dollar right here. I just need patience. Don't worry about getting it all chopped up. I wish my stop was a little tighter. With 20 cents, I need to get basically up to, if I can get up to around 61, um, I'll have a four to one and I'll be pretty happy. But I'm just going to hold now and now I'm just going to ignore it. I, I like this trade. It has a lot of things going for it. And now I'm just going to wait. Right? It is independent of SPY. Look at SPY is in a clear downtrend. SQ is not in a clear downtrend. And it had a big gap up. But if SPY can find a bottom here, it will, SQ will surge up. It doesn't look good. It looks like there's a real chance I'm going to get stopped out, but I'm not going to get out early. So we want to see green hitting the ask. And if it can hold this a second, third time, right? He hold here, hold here, higher, low, higher, low, higher, low. Okay. And it's holding the $60 mark right now, which is where my stop is, which is where a lot of stops are, unfortunately. Um, it's holding the moving average. People are trying to buy there. They're trying to hit the ask. But there's also lots of red. I want to see flashes of green. And we had this on decent volume here. Higher lows with the 59.99 again. Don't love that this is against a five minute engulfing. Really don't like that. I'm just going to wait though. Committed. I could get out right now, right? I could get out for basically break even, which I'm thinking about because I'm analyzing the trade. Now there's only one thing, there's a lot going for me and that's why I'm staying in. I don't like the five minute engulfing for sure, but because I have all this other stuff going for me, I'm gonna stay in. If the spike can hold though, this thing is gonna run. That's, it's gonna happen if it can hold. So if spy holds and just makes a little move up, SQ will make a giant move up. It'll give me the four to one.
All right. SQ. If it can hold. Whew. If it can make this other leg up. Still in the trade. I love these trades where I show myself patience. If this gets to my four to one, I'm going to be very, very happy with myself. This is the first level. It's got to break over the high. Here is 6046. And it nicked 6047. It's got to break over 650. And it's going to go to 61 if it can do that. Okay, let's take a look at SPY. SPY is. SPY broke lower. SQ held. That means I'm in the right trade. It became independent. And right now it's independent. So I've seen this a million times, traders. What's going to happen is in the past, as a new trader, I'm going to be looking at SPY, thinking it's going to dump, thinking SQ is going to lose it. And I'm not going to be able to read SQ's chart correctly because I held through, it's trying to go up, and then I'm going to see red a little bit. I'm going to look at, at SPY and I'm going to think, oh no, every little thing I'm going to micromanage, but not today. I came in today thinking I am not micromanaging a trade. I'm not going to be worried about a one minute new low if that happens on the chart. I will accept being wrong because there is a really, really great chance that I'm not going to be wrong on this trade at this point. And let me tell you why. We have the daily gap up, which is great. It's above VWAP, which is great. It's got the harmonious chart with no moving averages in its way, which is great. It's in a clear 60 minute uptrend with no red candles. This this doji sucks, right? I don't like an indecision candle, but still, it's clearly here is the low, here is the high. It's clearly in an uptrend now. Now, this chart could look something like this and then come back down at this point, and then it wouldn't be in an uptrend. So I like that. Okay, one minute engulfing above UAP with a harmonious chart doesn't bother me in the slightest. In the past, I would be freaking the F out. Thinking, you know, no, it's the one minute new low. Not now. And this is something I'm doing right now. I'm talking to myself. You get to hear this, but I am talking to myself. Spy just did a hammer on the five minute. So again, now that hammer at the bottom of a trend and break is going to help SQ. It's going to help. SQ is independent of SPY, but if SPY starts to go up, that's going to support SQ as well. That's why we like things that are independent. Because when SPY dumps, this held. And then when SPY finds a leg, it, it props it up even more. Okay. So, right? One minute engulfing candle. Don't care at all. Volume. Two minute uptrend. Two minute bull flag. This broke a new five minute high right there. So look at this wick. Broke the five minute high, came up, you're thinking you're golden, then it comes back down and you're like, oh no, oh no. Look at this, no new five minute low. No new five minute low, okay? New five minute high, no new five minute high, new five minute high. Now there is gonna be massive resistance up here, for sure. There's gonna be orders placed from this engulfing. So I need to figure out, do I wanna put it right under here at 60.89, or do I wanna wait for the even dollar 61? That's what I still gotta figure out. But at this point, it's clearly in an uptrend. It's got my harmonious chart. If I lose on this trade, it was a good trade. I'm happy with it. I'm not gonna profit out early. I'm just gonna wait. Okay, so you see this? This wick right here is definitely gonna be resistance at 6087. Sorry, I missed that. Could you say it again, please? If I really wanted, if I didn't think this was a strong day, I would put my order out at 6085 and I would go under. So again, my stop is 20 cents. I started at 20, so every 20 cents basically, I'm getting a one to one. So at 40, I'm at a one to one. At 60, I'm at a two to one. At 80, I'm at a three to one. And at 61 even, I'm at a four to one. And I'm gonna get out 100%. And right now, I don't have a definite plan. And this is something I need to work on. I'm like being wishy-washy right now, and I'm not sure where exactly. Because, you know, it's like, I'm trying to read the chart and let this winner run. 
That's what I'm trying to do. I want to maximize my winnings. And this chart just looks so bullish. Except this, like if this didn't exist right here, and it was just like here, came back, kind of went like this, found support, and then went up, I would be a lot more comfortable with this. First one minute low in a while. Right there happened, right there happened. Don't, not gonna scare me out in the slightest. So I gotta decide what to do. And traders, this isn't good. I'm trying to figure this out. Let's look at the daily chart. Does Is this a day where it's gonna run? I mean, it already, look at these. The ATR isn't huge on SQ. I know there's gonna be a lot of orders stacked at 61 for sure. I don't see anything crazy right here on the level two. It's clearly a five minute, even if it's not just gonna go like this and go like this, although it did that right there. Usually it does something like it'll hit it and it'll consolidate as people wanna take their profits because there's a bunch of sell orders and then it'll make another leg up or it'll go like this, kind of consolidate, try again for a double top, maybe a triple top, maybe a double top with a higher low, a higher high, uh, sorry, a lower high and then back down. It's gonna do something like that. So what we need to ask ourselves is what's gonna happen over here? What's happening on the right hand of the chart? You guys understand what I'm saying? This was really interesting advice, not advice. Um, it was really interesting insight I watched in a video a while back. What is happening? What's going to happen on the right side of the chart? Over here, what's gonna happen? I'm not gonna predict it, but I am gonna realize, okay, I'm gonna think that through. I'm reading this part of the chart, but what's gonna happen over here? So I better put my limit order out. Right under 61, I'll do 6096. That'll be nearly a four to one. 6096. It'll be very, very close to a four to one, slightly under with the rebate on the, on the, on the commission, it'll be very close. So if I do 6096, Okay, so what could very easily happen is it could find resistance. It looks so bullish on the five minute chart, okay? This is 6095 right here. This high is 6095. This is where in the past I'd freak out. I'd be so close to my four to one. I'd be trying to change my plan. I'm not gonna do that today. I'd be freaking out over every penny drop. But now, I'm not going to, because I realize this is rare. If this happens again, well, that was just unlucky. I am clearly in a huge five minute uptrend. My stop is way down here under view up on a daily uptrend, on a 60 minute uptrend. I'm under the, the real resistance at 61. I mean, at um, the 60 minute wick. There's gonna be buyers that are gonna wanna step in to try to get this to run higher on every dip on a moving average, there's gonna be buyers that wanna step in. Now there are gonna be sellers because of this point for sure. That's 100% accurate also. And that's why I remember, this is the one thing I don't love that I'm fighting against this, but there's way more things going in my direction here. Every little dip, it's gonna be bought up. This is where patience is everything. I got my entry. I analyze the chart. Now can I hold? Can I execute correctly and wait? And that's what I'm trying to do here. So what we want to do is see a lot of hitting the ask. We want to see green hitting the ask on every dip. We want to see it being bought up and we don't want to see the red. All right, so now I'm, I just lost 20 cents, but that's okay. This hasn't made a new five minute low. It's still in a clear uptrend. All of this stuff in the past, I have a hard time dealing with, but right now, I still think it's gonna hit.